Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Oh, we got a good one for you today. We're looking at the new Divi 5. It's still not in the final release stage, but it is available and they've got some fantastic features. What we're going to do today is just build a quick hero section. As we can see here, we've got a little hero section using a few of the features. And of course, it's fully responsive if I hit my F12 key. Here we have it on iPad Air. And let's have a look on an iPhone. And here we have it on an iPhone. Perfect. Now we've done this recently with Divi 4. Let's get rid of the inspector. Let's see how quickly we can do it with 5. I've got a feeling it's going to be a whole lot easier. So let's get started. I'm going to hit my edit with Divi button right here. Well, let's roll on down. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. I'm going to throw two columns in mine. I'm going to leave it just like that for a moment. Let's get rid of this one on the top so we don't get confused here. Blue tab, little trash can. Fantastic. Okay, well, we've got our little section here, the blue tab. I'm glad they've kept our colors for the, that I'm used to here, but you can change those in the designer if you want to. And we've got our row here. Let's use a little text module. The first thing we want with the hero section is a nice big title telling everybody what's going on. I'm not going to use a heading. I'm going to use text module because I want to split this into three lines. So over here, we can say building. Now I'm going to jump down the line, but I'm going to use shift space so it's not a huge gap. Yeah, awesome. Obviously, whatever you need to say for yours. Same thing again, shift return, website. That's great. And you'll notice with any of these modules, rather than it popping up when you click on it with Divi 4, they all open here and you can move this around if you want to, but it's a really, really quick system. So let's make this the text, the size and shape we want it. Do that over in design. We're just working on the text here. I'm going to use a blocky text like Anton we used in a couple of videos ago. Mine's in my recents here because I've just used it to audition one. Same as Divi 4, just roll over it. It'll give you an example over here. I'm going to use my Anton. I'm going to make it uppercase. I'll leave the color for a minute. We'll change the color in a while. Text size, let's make it 100 pixels. And they've got some great things coming. They've got Flex text coming and Flex Box 2 with Divi 5. I'm really looking forward to that. And we need to give it a bit of a more line height because it's kind of blocked up there. Let's try 1.1 perhaps. I think that's going to work for me. Fantastic. And I'm going to give it a little bit of text shadow here. Let's perhaps use that one. Great. Well, that's our first little part, the great big heading. Then we want a little description of what's going on. So again, I'm going to use a text module for that. As you can see, it's lightning quick to add these modules here. And I've got a little bit of content over here I wanted to put in there. I'm just going to copy that, paste it into my little text box over here. Fantastic course you can style it any way you want again we're on the text module here i'm just going to justify this i believe so if i roll down there's our little justify tab there fantastic over here we want an image just for interest value again i'll just use an image module as you can see it's blindingly quick once you click on these it's there i'll throw in an image perfect and now for our hero section, we want to have a little call to action. We want them to be able to click on something and take them somewhere after they've looked at this. So I'll use a little call to action. Again, I'm going to hit the little plus to add a new module. There's a call to action module. And I think I said something like get started today. And then I had a little tagline that I think it was, it's easier than you think or something like that. Obviously, you're going to need to, need to put in whatever works for you. I'm doing this very quickly just to show you how easy it is to build with Divi 5. Now we've got no button there. That's not going to show up until we put a link in down here. Once we do that, I'm just going to put a hashtag in there. The button's going to show up. Now you can style a button. You can do what you want with it. I'm going to leave mine all just as it is. I think I will change that heading title for that Anton that we used up here and give it a little bit of box shadow. So we can do that over in design. That's our title text. Again, I've re used it recently, so it's right there. I'm going to leave the, the size that it is here. But again, let's add a little bit of text shadow. 
just makes it stand out a little bit more. Okay, well that's okay, but it's not really interesting for a hero section. It's got all the elements that we need, a call to action, large title, bit of text about what the site's about, and an image just for interest value. So let's make it more interesting by going into our section, perhaps adding an image and a gradient. That's what I did before. Blue tab for the section again. Background always on the content, just like did before. It's so quick, it really is. Let's add a background image. I think I threw that one in last time. And you have all your parallax options and things like that. I've got mine on the default to cover at the moment, which is fine. That's looking a bit better. We're losing the writing, but we can change that. But I also want this section to be 100% of the viewable height on desktop. So we're still in our section. If we go over to design, we can go to sizing, roll down. We've got height here. At the moment, it's set to auto. I'm going to set it to 100 VH, viewable height. It's now a whole height of whatever screen people are looking at it on. Perfect. But I don't think that's going to work for tablet and mobile. If I hit the tablet mode right now, yeah, it's sort of stopping before it gets to the end of our hero section there, which is not going to work. So whilst in tablet mode, we can just go to our height here, put my cursor in there, I can switch it back to auto, A-U-T-O. Now that image should stretch for the whole of our hero section. Perfect. And it should be the same on phone. Once you've switched to one of these modes, it automatically takes you to the editing for these modes, which again is a real time saver. You don't have to click on the little mobile phone icon. So I'm happy with all that. That's actually fitting on there nicely now. And hopefully desktop, we've still got our 100 VH. Perfect. Well, I need to push this down a little bit, make that writing more visible. And I think I'm going to put a gradient over the top of this, darken that down just to make everything stand out a bit more. So just to push this down a bit, I'm still in my section here. I'm going to go design and spacing this time. Close up sizing, spacing just underneath. I want padding top. Let's perhaps say 15 viewable by VH. I think that's about right for me. Obviously adjust to taste. <laughs> Let's make this writing visible now. I'm going to go into my little title module here, which is actually a text module. Okay, and just click on it, it takes you straight to it. Design-wise, just regular text we use for this and made it large. I'm going to make it white in colour. We've already got a little bit of box shadow there, which is making it stand out a bit more. I'm going to do exactly the same underneath here. Again, this is just text. Just going to make it white in colour. So, okay, we can see it a bit better, but really, it's still not legible to me. So, this is where we're going to put a little gradient in the background, make it a little bit more readable. So, we'll pop back into the section where that background image is. I'm going to go down to background again. So, I'm going to add a gradient. Add a background gradient. Let's put one in. Default blue and green there. We can't see it because it's actually behind that image. If we roll down a little bit, we can place gradient above the image with this little switch right here. Perfect. Now the blue bit at the top, I really don't want anything at the top. So I'm going to click on the blue stop. I'm going to make that transparent. Perfect. And the green, I'm going to turn that to a black. And that's made that a lot more legible. You can really see that a lot better now. Now, if you wanted to, you can bring the transparent down further by pulling it to the right. I'm pretty happy with it where it was, or pull the black up to make it darker at the bottom. Again, I'm happy with where it was. That seems to be pretty legible to me. You know, the other thing I want to do is just take a bit of the opacity away from this blue to, so you can get a hint of that image behind it. So again, just click on the module. Takes us straight there over here. We know that's the background color. You can go and change it for what you want or just click on the field, left click. Variegated slider is opacity. I'm going to take it down. So we've got a hint of that image behind. Perfect. Well, that looks like a pretty good hero section to me. We'll check it on tablet and mobile by just going up to the top here. Tablet. That's going to work. And mobile. It's going to be very similar. Now, you might find when we check this in the real browser, I might want to take that title size down slightly. But let's find out. I'm going to save my draft. I'm going to hit the preview button. 
And here we have it, as you can see that loaded pretty quickly. It's working perfectly. Let's hit my F12 key. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. So here we have it on iPhone 12. And as you can see, that right is just a little bit too big. It's breaking up there. So I'll have to make that a little smaller. Let's have a look on an iPad. I think it'll be okay on an iPad. Yeah, it's absolutely fine on an iPad. We could even bring it up if you wanted to. Well, let's just fix that. And we're done. So I'm going to go get rid of this. We'll go back to our page here. Here we are on mobile already. Let's go into our little heading module here, or text module as it is. Design. It's the regular text, remember? On this particular device, we're already on it. Let's take that down to maybe perhaps 80. Now let's save again. We'll preview it. Let's have a look again on the mobile devices. Here we are on the iPad. Let's flip it back to the iPhone. That's better. It's all fitting on there nicely now. So that was pretty easy. And I must admit, I do like this new interface that they've got with Divi 5. It's pretty convenient, especially for mobile and tablet versions. And like I say, they are going to be introducing Flexbox for this. So there's all kinds of possibilities coming up. So how easy was that? I really am looking forward to this. I've built a couple of sites just for myself for playing with Divi 5. I wouldn't recommend you use this for building sites for clients just yet. I can say there's a lot more to come with Divi 5. Hopefully they'll be releasing it soon. And a lot of the major plugins that I use like Divi Supreme and stuff like that, they're all updating their modules to be compatible with Divi 5. So there's some exciting stuff coming up. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. A little sneak peek of Divi 5 there. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.